Hello everyone, welcome to Easy Math. Today in this video, we'll see class 8, exercise 1.3, question number 4. So in all the previous three sums, we verified first sum was closure property, commutative, associative. Now we are going to verify the next property, which is distributive property. Where, let us read the question. Verify the distributive property, which is the property is given in the question itself. Okay, so A into B plus C is equal to A into B plus A into C. Okay, property is given. For the rational numbers, A is equal to minus 1 by 2, B equal to 2 by 3 and C is equal to minus 5 by 6. So, let us write the property for the given rational numbers and check whether we are getting the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. If the both the sides are equal, then the distributive property is true. Okay, let us check whether it is true or not. So, it is A into properties given in the question. I have copied once again A into B plus A into C. Now, the numbers are minus 1 by 2, 2 by 3 and minus 5 by 6. Now, in the place of A, B, C, we substitute minus 1 by 2, 2 by 3 and minus 5 by 6. A into B plus C. Now, right hand side, minus 1 by 2 into 2 by 3. We are distributing multiplication over addition. Minus 1 by 2 into 2 by 3 in the first bracket. Plus, then minus 1 by 2 into minus 5 by 6 in the second brackets. Okay. Now, first, we will simplify the LHS and check what answer we are getting. What is LHS? Minus 1 by 2 into 2 by 3 plus minus 5 by 6. So, suppose to avoid the confusion between the two signs coming together, let us have this bracket. So, first step what to do? We have to remove this bracket first. Change two signs into a single sign. For that, we need to multiply the signs. Plus into minus. Multiplying two different signs. Minus 5 by 6. Now, we have two operations, multiplication and subtraction. Which one will you do first? Subtraction. So, for subtraction, the denominators must be same. Are they same? No. So, what to do? Find LCM for 3 and 6. Both are divisible by 3. 3 ones are 3. 3 twos are 6. So, 3 twos are 6. What to do with minus 1 by 2? As it is down. For 3 and 6, LCM is 6. Now, 3 into what is 6? 3 twos are 6. Multiply numerator also by 2. 2 twos are 4 minus 6 ones are 6. Multiply numerator also by 1. So, 5 because we have the same 6. Now, minus 1 by 2 as it is into what is inside the bracket? 4 minus 5. That is rule of integers we have to follow. Signs are different. Subtract and put the sign of the greater number. Subtract now. 5 minus 4 is 1. Sign of the greater number minus 1 by 6. Now we have completed the bracket. So it is removed. And one operation is also over. Now we have only one operation which is multiplication. For multiplication do you need LCM? No, it is not needed. So if possible you cancel because both the numerators are 1 and 1. So, no other common factor. So, just we have to multiply both the numerators and multiply both the denominators. Minus into minus plus 1 into 1, 1 by 2, 6 are 12. When you multiply the same signs, it is positive. So, 1 by 12 is our left hand side. We got the answer as. Now, let us check what we are getting for the right hand side. So, I will turn the right hand side. Let us check what we are going to get now for this. First, there are two brackets. Two separate brackets. Suppose if you have one bracket inside the other. Suppose if you are having 5 by 3 minus 2 by 3 plus 1. One bracket is inside the other. Then we have to do innermost bracket first. Then only out. Then only come to the outer bracket. But here just uh, see properly. Is it one inside the other? No. Two or two different. They are separate. Two different separate brackets. So we can do the simplifications in the both the brackets at a time. So, we we'll let us start with this now. What can multiplication? Do you need LCM? Not necessary. So, we have to check for the common factor and cancel the numerator with the denominator. See quickly we can see both are 2. So, both we can cancel by 2 tables. Then, what is the sign? 1 negative sign. So, when there is 1 negative sign, it is minus or minus into plus is minus. 1 1s are 1, 1 3s are 3. So, this bracket is over. We have simplified. The bracket is not necessary. What do you have to say the bracket? Plus. Same way here. Quickly. 1 and 2, 5 and 6, no common factor. 
like cross 1 and 6 no common factor 5 and 2 they too don't have any common factor to cancel that is none of the numerators and denominators come in the same tables so what to do multiply both the numerators and multiply both the denominators before that signs minus into minus it is plus when you multiply two same signs it is plus 5 ones are 5, 2 6 are 12. Now, what is the operation between these two racial numbers? It is addition. For addition, what do we need? LCM. The denominators are different. Yes, we have to go for LCM again. What is the LCM for 3 and 12? Common uh, number to divide. 3. 3 ones are 3, 3 fours are 12. Now, multiply them. 3 fours are 12 is our LCM. So, write the common denominator 12. Now, next step, 3 into what is 12? 3 fours are. Multiply 1 also by the same 4. Minus 4. By now, you all must be thorough with this procedure of finding LCM and writing the numbers. Yes. Okay, 12 ones are 12 and 5 ones are 5 because we want the same 12. So, multiply by 1. Now, what are the signs? Are they same or different? They are different. So, if the signs are different, we need to subtract. 5 minus 4 is 1. Sign of the greater number plus by 12. We got our HS. Right hand side is 1 by 12. Let us check what we got in the left hand side. See, left hand side is also, well, left hand side simplification also. We got same 1 by 12. So, can we say left hand side is equal to right hand side? Can we say they are equal? Yes, yeah, so if they are equal, what can we say? The distributive property is true, okay? So, we have verified the distributive property and we got the both LHS and RHS equal. Therefore, we can say distributive property is true, okay? Now, let us see question number 5. Fifth one is verify the identity property. This is the next property. We have seen all the four properties. Now, the next property is identity property for addition and multiplication for the rational numbers 15 by 19 and minus 18 by 25. This is first sum and this is second sum. And we have to check the identity property for addition and multiplication. Let us check first property of addition for both the numbers and then we will check multiplication. So, what is identity property? Identity property means when you add any number with 0 or you add 0 with the number, you add any five, 7 by 9 with 0, or you add 0 with the same number, we should get the same number as the answer. That is, the 0 is called the identity element of addition because whatever number you add with 0, however big, however small, whether it is positive, negative, whole number, integer, rational number, anything you add with 0, we get the same number. That is the speciality of this number 0. That is why it is called additive uh, in, I'm sorry, uh, what is that? Uh, identity element of addition. Identity. Identity means what? The identity of the number, that is the value of the number, is remains the same even after adding. Same way for multiplication, what is the identity element? Any number you multiply by what? You get the same number as your answer. Guess the number? 7 into what gives 7 itself? 1. And 1 into 7 also gives the same 7. Whether you multiply a number by 1 or 1 by a number, we get the same number as the answer. So, even this 1 has another speciality. Whenever you multiply any number, just like 0, there we added 0, you add, you get the same number. But with 1, whether it is a decimal number, fraction, rational number, integer, positive or negative, you multiply with 1, we get the same number as the answer. So, this is called multiplicative identity that is, identity element of multiplication is 1. Identity element of addition is 0. Now, let us check for them. Now, what we have to check here? Take the first number 15 by 19. With 15 by 19, if you add 0, we have to get same 15 by 19. So, what I have done, 15 by 19 is 0. 0 is a what number? It is a, we have to make it as a rational number. So, we should put some denominator. We can put by 1. Normally, suppose if 5 is a integer, how to make it as a rational number? By 1. So, we have numerator and denominator. This has become a rational number. Because when you divide any number by 1, we get the same number itself. And when it is 0, we can put 0 by 1 again. But 
here only when it is zero the denominator we can put any number you want because zero by any number whatever number you put in the denominator zero divided by that number gives the answer as zero only but this cannot be done with other numbers suppose if it is 5 we have tried denominator 1 only to make it as a rational number we cannot put denominator 2 or 3 or 7 or 10 or 12 the number you whatever you want we cannot put as a denominator for other numbers only to make it as a rational number we have to put the denominator 1 only for other numbers only for 0 the denominator can be any number you like because 0 by any number gives you 0 so here for our convenience it is 19 I want to have the same denominator so I put the same 19 so no need to find LCM here for both the 19s 119 15 plus 0 is 15 so whenever 15 by 19 is added with 0 we get same 15 by 19 now you add 0 with 15 by 19. Same way we have 19, we will make the 0 as a rational number by putting the denominator 19. So both the 19s 119, 0 plus 15 is 15. So however you add a number with a 0 or 0 with a rational number, answer is the same number. That means identity property is true for this number. Now second we will check, minus 18 by 25. So with minus 18 by 25 we are adding 0. We want to have the denominator, same 25 we can put because 0 divided by any number is 0. Okay, only for 0 we can have the denominator as you like. And why did we put 25? Because we have 25, if you write the same 25, the denominators become common. So it is 25 and minus 18 plus 0. What it is? Signs are different. Subtract and put the sign of the greater number. 18 minus 0 is 18. Sign of the greater number is minus. So we got the same number, minus 18 by 25. Now we'll add 0 with minus 18 by 25. So 0, we'll put the denominator as same 25 because 0 by any number is 0. And for both the denominators, one denominator. Now simplify the numerators. 0 is neither positive nor negative. 18 is negative. So we will take signs are different. What to do? 18 minus 0 is 18 and sign of the greater number minus. See whether you add given number with 0, we get the same number. 0 added to the number, we get the same number. Therefore, the identity property is true for addition for these two given numbers. Okay, now we will check identity element of multiplication. What is identity element of multiplication is 1. So, you multiply 15 by 19 into 1. Okay, multiply by, by the given number by 1. So, how to make 1 as a, what is rational number? By 1 only you have to put. Can we put 19 here? No, only if it is 0, the denominator can be any number. But for all the other numbers, if you want to change it into a rational number, the denominator has to be 1 only. Then only the value of the given number is not changed. See, 1 by 1 is 1 only. If you put 1 by 19, it is not 1. It, it will be less than 1, the value will be. Now, multiply. How to multiply? Multiply both the numerators, multiply both the denominators. We got the same number 15 by 19. Now, let us multiply 1 into 15 by 19. So, make it as a rational number by putting 1 by 1. 1 15 is 15, 1 19 is 19. So, whether you multiply the given number by 1 or 1 by the given number, what are we getting? We are getting the same number as the answer. So, for this 15 by 19, multiplicative identity is true. Now, multiplicative element of uh, that is the identity element of multiplication is 1. Now same thing we will check. Minus 18 by 25 multiply by 1. What will be the denominator? 1 because we want to make it as a rational number. So multiply both the numerators. There is one negative sign. 18 ones are 18. 25 ones are 25. Now multiply 1 into minus 18 by 25. How to make 1 as a rational number? By 1. Now, plus into minus, there is one negative sign, answer is negative. 118 is 18, 125 is 25. So, what are we getting? We are getting the same number as the answer. So, when whether you multiply a number by 1 or 1 by a number, we get same numbers as the answer. Therefore, multi identity property is true for multiplication also. Okay, why are we not taking any other number? Why are we taking, for addition we are adding with 0, for multiplication we are adding with 1? Because the identity element of addition is 0. So, we have to check with 0 only. Only when you add with 0, you get the same number. 
if you add a number with some other number the answer is not the same number so zero is the identity element of addition and one is the identity element of multiplication that is why we are checking for addition we are checking with zero for multiplication we are checking with one okay so rest of the sums we'll see in the next next video thank you for watching thank you